What is poppin' yo, welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at another series review. Today we're taking a look at Knuckles, and this is the sixth episode streaming event of Knuckles on Paramount+. Plus. It is all out now, there are six episodes, all roughly between 25 and 35 minutes each, and it's an easy watch. I watched it whilst building the Lego Sanctum Sanctorum, which review should be up shortly. Uh, I've been teasing that for a while now, but uh, I finally got around to watching it, and I'm going to be honest, it doesn't deserve the hate it's getting, but it also doesn't deserve to be called a Knuckles show. And I'll get onto that a little bit later, but as of right now, we need to go into what Google has to say about this show, as we always do with these film series anime reviews. We always check in to see what Google has saying and what actual film reviewists, people who get paid to do this shit, actually think of this movie and show and see what it's like so the knuckles show again is on paramount plus and it has 6.4 out of 10 on imdb knuckles the echidna teaches deputy wade whipple the techniques of the echidna warrior that is all the information we get so a quick rundown of this show is knuckles is struggling to sort of find a way to relax he's changing the apartment into like a giant like gladiator ring he's changing all the sort of stuff around the house and he's scaring away all the people who are trying to fix the house from the last couple of attacks that they've had on the house with sonic bursting through the walls knuckle bursting through the walls dr eggman bursting through the walls you know they just want to fix the house but knuckles is scaring them all away and sonic tells him to make this place his home and then he gets grounded but then he's sort of meditating and you know obviously he gets visited by his father who tells him hey you know uh, go, go help Wade Whipple, teach him the ways of the Echidna Warrior, make sure the ways of the Echidna are not lost forever when you do die. So that's what he goes and does. He goes and helps Wade, they go on all wacky adventures, basically. Wade is failing to be a bowling dude, he loses to a little girl, and he gets kidnapped, he has a bounty on his head, Knuckles gets kidnapped, they both save each other, and then there's like a big brawl at a bowling alley, and Wade challenges dad, his dad to a bowling match, and he wins... That's pretty much the easiest, quickest rundown of the show possible. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil it too much, because again, I do want you to go watch it for yourself. But that is basically just the rundown of the show. And I'm going to be honest, it does not deserve to be called a Knuckles show, as there is barely any Knuckles. Knuckles is in this show for one third. For one third. The rest of it is all about Wade Whipple, one of the least interesting human characters in the entirety of this Sonic universe. And this suffers heavily from the other complaints we have from the other two Sonic movies, that there is too much focus on the humans and not enough focus on Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles themselves. However, the times when Knuckles is on screen, it is really good. I really enjoy it when Knuckles is on screen. And I think it's really interesting, really cool, getting to see Knuckles a little bit more action, getting to know a little bit more about Knuckles' backstory, Knuckles' family. Again, for some, like, OG Sonic fans, they'll know his backstory and know how he came to be. But for some newer Sonic fans who are just getting into the franchise, this is a really good way to introduce them. However, it is overshadowed by the lowest budget going, because they do most of it through a musical, which Wade Whipple in Wayne Whipple's mind, and I feel like they did that obviously to save on budget and to also make it a little bit more co comedic, but again, I would have loved to see the action sequences and his original story in live action. I felt like that would have been so cool to see his origin story in live action. The fight scenes are really cool, and the action sequences are nice. Knuckles is just great, and this is one of the best representations of Knuckles. And they don't make him a stupid meathead like they do in Sonic Boom, but he is still stupid, but that is because he's new to this Earth and he doesn't know how things work here. But he is still smart in his own right and does come up with a couple of cool plans along the way. He is voiced by Idris Elba, one of the really good actors, which I'm so happy to see him returning here. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the Knuckles side of the Knuckles show. Everything else, all the humans, they are way too overdramatic. They are way too cartoonified, way too stupid. They feel mind-numbingly stupid, and all the comedy that it's supposed to come from doesn't land. All the comedy in the show is a complete miss. And it's just stupid, crazy, trying to be wacky and get shock value. And 
I really want to give this sort of show a positive review because I did enjoy it on the most part when Knuckles was there. However, a show about Knuckles should be about Knuckles and not Wade Whipple. However, the story with Wade Whipple did have a really good sort of message about like fathers and kids growing up without dads. They did the sort of like milk meme going out for milk, but uh, they handled it in a really nice way in a way that like, you know, kids can still look up to their fathers and have a relationship with their fathers, even if they wasn't around or kids without fathers could still be successful without their fathers and they don't need their fathers. And I thought that was a really good message for those kids who don't have fathers. But again, it's a real tough one because obviously the other side of the argument, not that I agree with this, uh, kids with fathers will be like, hey, you know, kids without fathers are doing better. Why are you still here? And sort of go to resent their father. I've seen that argument been thrown around, even though it makes no sense. So I just thought I'd bring it up again here to, you know, continue with my argument with it's a good message, not a bad one. And... Sonic's in it for the first episode, Tails is in it for the first episode, their voice actors are back with Ben Schwartz and the original voice actor for Tails, and it's always good to see a little bit more of those, but again, they disappear for like majority of the other episodes and they're never seen again, which is upsetting, and I feel like it definitely takes away from the series, and I was correct in my sort of videos, it is another road trip with sonic type thing where knuckles and wade are going on a journey with each other and they're helping each other sort of uncover the mysteries and help their relationship thrive and it's a comedy road trip movie which it's not exactly the same as sonic but it is very similar and has some similar elements to it which again could be seen as a little bit of a cop-out but i still like this show I'm going to be honest, it is one of the better shows that I have watched recently, and it was entertaining, again, when Knuckles was on screen, and it did make me laugh, it made me giggle, it didn't make me cry or angry or suspenseful, but it, it can't do everything, and it felt like a short, goofy time, which is good. It, it doesn't always need to be serious, high-quality fun, but a show called Knuckles should have more Knuckles in it because he is supposed to be the main character, and he ended up being like a side character to Wade Whipple. I've said Wade Whipple way too many times that it's becoming to sound ridiculously stupid. But a load of teaser images from the sort of promotional side of this weren't even here. There was loads of teasers of, like, Knuckles doing all this cool stuff that never actually happened. He was never here, and that was slightly upsetting. And the big bad that they tried to set up all series was also a letdown, who got defeated by a couple of bowling balls and Knuckles just absorbing his energy back. And it felt like an Iron Man situation in the MCU where these extra bad guys are all created because of Iron Man's misfortune and misdeeds that he's been doing. Where is this one? It's about Robotnik and all the sort of people that Robotnik made enemies with or made fun of or stole their ideas from or fired or coming back as villains to take on their protege and their protege. It, it's just it's just silly. It is just silly. And I, I, I don't get it. But it's still fun, I guess, when Knuckles is here. But again, Knuckles is only here for three quarters of it. So it's three quarters fun, like two quarters Wade Whipple. And for that, I have to give it a low score. I have to give it a five out of ten because some of the Wade Whipple messages are really good. But, you know, it's, it's a show about Knuckles, so it should be more about Knuckles. And I do like the show, and its animation is really good, and something that I didn't expect from this show, because it's like a cheaper budget, I didn't think the animation and CGI on the Sonic characters would be as good as what they were in the movie, but they managed to do it, and I quite liked that, but... The rest of it was just a kind of a letdown. So I'm glad that I watched it. It did get me a little bit more Sonic lore for the movie franchise. But I don't think I would watch this again, even with how short it is. I, I don't know. It just it just wasn't what I was expecting it to be. And it was quite a big letdown from the high hopes that I had for this series. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all next one. Have a nice day and goodbye. And let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this series if you have watched it. All right, bye-bye.